Hi, I'm going to show you how to create a JavaScript application using Kotlin, my new favorite programming language from JetBrains, maker of IntelliJ, my favorite IDE. We're going to start with the proverbial Hello World app and build from there. Let's get started. First, we'll create a new project in IntelliJ. We'll choose Kotlin and Kotlin JavaScript in the new project dialog. We'll call this project Kotlin JS Demo. And we get a new blank project. In the SRC directory, I'm going to create a new Kotlin file called main. And in there, I'll create a main method and I'll print hello. From a JavaScript application, when you use Printlin like this, it actually prints to the JavaScript console in your browser debug window. All right. Now that we have some JavaScript, let's build it. So I'm going to go build project and let's go out to our file system to see what it actually created. There's our project Kotlin JS demo. And let's go first look at source. There's our Kotlin source code file that we created and out contains the stuff that Kotlin compiler creates. So let's go into production, blah, blah, blah. All right, so first of all, there's our file, Kotlin JS demo. That is the, our file compiled into JavaScript. It's 420 bytes. For every JavaScript file, it also creates a meta.js file. That's used by the compiler, and it's useful in cases when you want to distribute your JavaScript as a library to be used by others. We won't be dealing with it in the Hello World application. In addition to our JavaScript, there's also the library um, folder, which contains the JavaScript standard libraries. I'm sorry, the Kotlin standard libraries. So that's um, the Kotlin libraries are distributed with your application. And that's one of the whole selling points of using Kotlin is that it comes with this great standard library. It's kind of big. It's 1.3 megabytes, but it does get smaller if you gzip it. And it too contains this meta file, which is used by the compiler. Also, there's this Kotlin JS demo, and that has some other metadata type stuff in there. And that also is used by the compiler and useful for distributing libraries. So really, the only thing you have to know about is our file in its compiled form right here, the JS file, and also the Kotlin standard library in its JS format. So with that said, now let's go back to our project and actually use this JavaScript from an HTML file. So I'm going to, in the root, create a new HTML file, I'll call it index. I'll call the title Kotlin JS demo. And let's create a script tag to bring in our script. So I'll say out slash production slash Kotlin JS demo slash Kotlin JS. So that is our script. And we're also going to want to bring in the Kotlin standard library. Like so. And there you have it. So as soon as it encounters this script tag, it will run our code and print something to the JavaScript console. Let's see if it works. We'll right click on our file and say open in browser. And then I'll, I'll um, open the JavaScript console and there it is. Hello, it worked. So there's our first simplest possible JavaScript Kotlin application. In the next exercise, I will show you how to um, interact with the DOM using Kotlin and JavaScript. And that is it for this episode.